Hello and welcome to another edition of UFO Video Addicts. Let me give you a preview of what I got coming up in this video. Uh, the first is some strange lights going off. I think this is an earthquake, but uh, some unusual lights in the uh, in the clouds. Um, this one, I think I've actually posted this one again, but it was just recently uploaded. So uh, I might as well play again, but some guy captures what looks like a uh, triangle UFO. Uh, let's see. And this is another video that I, it, I seem to remember posting something similar, but this again was just recently uploaded. And, um, it's this, this thing here. I mean, you can see the shadow that it's creating. It's some strange probe that's just floating down the street. And I believe this is someplace in Mexico. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is a strange, um, glow that was, um, seen in the water. Uh, let's see. This is some strange object passing uh, over the night sky caught on this nest cam. Uh, also have this photo here. This is uh, supposed to be Richard Doty with a, uh, the remains of a, of a dead alien. Uh, let's see. This is a, one of these videos where you see, you know, a uh, UFO quickly fly by. I mean, if you aren't paying attention, you're going to miss it. But this is the object that... Uh, this person captured. Uh, let's see. Also have this um, video out of Russia. And it's just, um, I think this is the International Space Station, or maybe it's the Russian. I don't know if this is all in Russian. I can't read it. But yeah, you see a lot of activity, you know, a lot of uh, little lights, objects moving uh, over Earth. And then last is uh, this article here, The Unsolved Mystery of Earth's Blobs. Researchers have discovered these uh, structures that are continent size. Can see here under uh, under the Earth's mant or yeah in, in the Earth's mantle, but you know I mean this is to me more proof that you know our our Earth can handle huge cavern or, or does have huge caverns that I wouldn't doubt if entire advanced civilizations are living in there you know w without our knowledge or without most of us I'm sure again there has to be people at the highest levels of government who are aware of, you know, of everything going on around our planet, on the moon, and, you know, elsewhere. But anyways, uh, let's check out uh, this first video here. Let me go full screen. You know, this is just strange because it's just some lights going off. And You know, you know, I can't play this whole video, but uh, I mean, are those just transformers going off or is this something else? You know, I mean, I've, I've seen videos where transformers go off and, and the intensity of the light is usually like localized, you know, to wherever it is. It, it's not like lighting up the entire uh, night sky. The entire clouds are being lit up by whatever's going on. But again, you know, it could just be transformers. Not too sure about that. Anyways, link will be in the description. Uh, yeah, this video, I, this, I mean, it was just uploaded yesterday, but I kind of feel like um, I've already posted this video. But anyways, this guy's filming, I think, planes, and he captures um, a strange uh, triangle UFO. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the fuck is that? What the fuck am I looking at there? What the hell? That's like a flying triangle. The triangle of lights, anyway. What's the Wow. 
Yeah, you can see these, there's three lights right here that are moving. Yeah, you know, this. I think I did upload this, but uh, this seems like a longer video. Anyways, a link to this will be in the description. Uh, let's see, this one here is another strange one. But check this out. You see, I think this is the object here. Yeah, you can definitely see that yeah, something is floating right here. Oh, look at the shadow that it's creating too. So this is definitely something there, you know, I'm not seeing any strings or anything like that. Anyways, this is a six minute video. Um, you know, I'm not going to play the whole thing. Link will be in the description. Let's go to this one here. Um, this is a glowing object at North Miami Beach, Florida. UFO sighting. Check this out. Just one person illuminating that. that right yeah, that. Oh, we're moving. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's like, it's, and it keeps flashing too. Like, stupid ever doesn't flash. Anyway, okay. After that, the video just repeats itself. But uh, yeah, I don't think that's a that's a diver with a light. I think that's some kind of um. That's an object. That's something. I don't know if it's an organic object or a machine, but it's something definitely um not familiar to us anyways uh let's check out this video here watch this you'll see that object right there let me see if we just jump to the beginning here now watch right here right above this uh, roof line here in this footage we have this very look at that thing I mean, it look, looks like a giant cloud but i don't think it's a cloud Yeah, that's it again. This yeah, this video just repeats itself over and over. It just shows that again. But the link to that will be in the description. Uh, let's see. This is supposedly a photo of Richard Doty with uh, you know what appears to be a dead alien. And you know what? And based on this body language and you know how he's set up, it, it it seems to me like you know he's just like, hey, quickly take this photo. It doesn't look like it's a you know it's a set up photo. This looks like someone. Just ask someone else to quickly take this photo. And um, and you can see another one back here too. But anyways, a uh, link to this will be in the description. Oh, one thing about Richard Doty, you know, one thing, yeah, Richard Doty is a counterintelligence agent. Um, he's acknowledged that, or admitted that um, he was, um, like when he interviewed, or he got interviewed by um, Linda Moulton Howe, that you know, his job was to confuse her, was to tell her lies, feed her some truth, and um, mainly lies to confuse her and throw her off because she was getting too close to um, some of the truth that they didn't want out there. But anyways, uh, yeah, link to this will be in the description. Uh, let's see, yeah, this is one of these videos that's super fast. Let me see if I can just play this. Yeah, it's it's yeah. If you blink, you know you. Or you don't know what to look for, you go miss it, but it's just gonna come high speed right through here. Oh, this is going slow motion. Yeah, there it is. Let me go, let me see if I can find the full speed. Yeah, do you see that? You can, let me play that again. Yeah, do you see? Just, it goes so fast. Actually, I think it does twice. Once there. Oh, oh yeah, I thought that was another one out there, but no, that's just another plane. Oh yeah, and you know what? I think it just zoomed across the, uh, the uh, screen again. But anyways, that thing is moving so fast, it's hard to see. 
Uh, link to this video will be in the description. Uh, yeah, this one is in Russian and I really couldn't, you know, understand what's going on, but I can definitely determine that it, uh, it seems to be, I'm assuming the International Space Station. But here, yeah, right there, look at that. See that object, there's another one. Guys, I'm telling you, there's um, activity over our heads on a constant basis. Our neighbors are must be conducting commerce out there. You know, they're definitely traveling into space. They're or they're yeah, traveling into space and, and they're they're returning. There's another one. They're, they're coming back. But there are so many of these videos out there that again show a lot here. Look at that. A ton of activity, non-stop activity of um ships coming in and out of our atmosphere and you know and i believe this is in in natural light you know i mean if this was in infrared who knows what else would we, we would be seeing but anyways a uh, link to this will be in the description and then last um is this article here that i think you know it confirms to me that our planet uh or it's po yeah, it's possible for our planet to have large caverns that could probably hold entire civilizations, advanced civilizations. Anyway, some 2,000 kilometers beneath our feet, there are enormous masses of hot mantle material that have baffled scientists for the last four decades. The blobs, as some scientists have taken to calling them, are the length of continents and stretch 100 times higher than Mount Everest. They sit at the bottom of Earth's rocky mantle above the molten outer core, a place so deep that Earth's elements are squeezed beyond recognition. The blobs are made of rock, just like the rest of the mantle, but they may be hotter and heavier and hold a key to unlocking the story of Earth's past. Another thing, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of people question, like if I ever posted, you know, that, uh, you know, aliens or, or we have neighbors that live in the ocean. Some people will ask, like, why would they live there or how could they live there or, you know, like, yeah, as if an advanced civilization couldn't overcome environmental or challenges. You know, there are too many people, right, who think like a human. And you have to understand, you know, we are actually designed to filter out information. There's so much more going on around us, but our eyes, our hearing, our brain is it's actually designed to filter out information. So we, you know, we're not able to really see what's going on around us. And, you know, and this notion that, right, we use less than 10% of our brain. And I'm sure there are many humans who use even less than that. But yet, you know, when you think about these advanced civilizations, try not to think like a feeble brained human. Try to think as if you know, you are part of a civilization that has been in existence for hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years, as opposed to, you know, Homo sapiens, where we've maybe been around 250,000 years at the most. You know, we're, yeah, we're, I don't think we're supposed to see a lot of these things. I think we're, you know, um, according, and, and according to the Lacerda interview, um, some humans are actually programmed to um, deny the existence of aliens or, you know, or anything else that falls outside of the normal, you know, belief, belief system. But anyways, um, that is going to be it for this video. If you like things like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll have more things like this. Take care.